Well, hi there, everyone. Well, welcome to another Trevor Story. I'm here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we're going back to our good old classic roots of mono white aggro. Uh, but before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Today, we are venturing through the Rose Garden. Uh, it's just a bunch of knights, even this traitorous knights that is our <laughs> champion. It's Liam. Uh, whenever you destroy an opponent's tower, you may add one gear to your deck to your hand, and once per turn, discard uh, a gear from your hand and target unit gets plus 500 this turn. This guy is insanely broken. Dude, this dude's so good. He is one of the best champions in this game, just because yeah. he does so much. It's like, you kill a tower? Cool, give me this one card that can probably kill another tower. It, it's really, he gets free value, and that's what makes him so good. Yeah, for the things that you're going to do already. Yeah. So it works out. Of course, we have, we're using the new uh, Spirit. It is the Spirit of Ceremony. It's a, uh, at the start of the game, after Mulligans, you may search your deck for a gear that costs one or less and add it to your hand. So more value. In Soul Burst, equip target gear from your discard zone to the target you control. That's only if you really probably just get the dagger that gives you quickness, pretty much, yeah. and then you win the game from there. Mm -hmm. But besides that, he's just, it's just super solid. All right, the first guy we got at the deck is Citra, the Aspirant Rose Knight, and it is one for a 1,000. And you discard a, you discard this card in a gear from your hand, search your deck for an order of the rose and add it to your hand. Or when she arrives, you if this unit was if a unit was sent from the field to the discard zone this turn, you may search your deck for a rose knight with two or less, accept her and put it into play. So you can't chain her, but you can go get any other rose knight and be like, here, put this dude into play. Which is just really good. Just value for Oh yeah. Especially if you hit a red tower early game and then you just play her and done. The next one is Blue's Rose Knight. It's a, a one drop 500. This card gets 500 for each unit adjacent to it, so it can become a 1500 real quick. Uh huh. Next is the Red Rose Knight. It's two for a 1000 Guardian. This card gets, when this new card uses Guardian, you may add one gear from your discard to your hand. Yeah. And whenever it's equipped with the gear, units adjacent to this card get plus 500 and Guardian. Super powerful. So much also value city. The next one is Black Rose Knight. He's the angrier of the Rose Knights. It's a three drop 1500. He has a brawler, so when he comes into play, he can attack a, a, a tapped unit and arrive. You may equip target gear from your unit to you control to this card. And then while this card is equipped with a gear, when this card or adjacent unit card attacks, you may draw a card and then discard one card. So that seems like a lot of text, but basically just anytime you swing him with the gear or someone else next to him swings, then you get to draw a card, discard, and you're going to have so many gears just thrown in the discard zone, so just do that anyway, pretty yeah. much. You're not losing any value. Next is the White Rose Knight. He is four for a 2,000. Choose up to, choose one for each knight you control up to three. Search your deck for a gear and add it to your hand. Equip target gear from your discard to this card. Switch target knight to unit to active. So you want to make sure you've attacked with at least one dude or have a dude tap for any reason. Yeah. And then untap it with this. But this dude's really strong just because he can do a lot for you. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Aaron, the Shining Rose Knight, it's a uh, four drop 2,000. He is a Rose Knight. Spells cost your opponent one more to play for each gear you control, which is backbreaking. Mm -hmm. And not even on him, just in general that you control. And then expel gears from a discard zone whose total cost equals four or more. This card gains Immortal this turn and cannot be destroyed by damage or effects. Yeah, this dude is ridiculously strong. Mm -hmm. Whether you, like you don't really think about it until it's in play, and then your spells you can't play them because your one drop costs like seven, and yeah. you're like, ah, well, That's I don't it. know what to do anymore. Yeah, thanks. Gonna try to kill him when I yeah. reach ten. Next up is Kara, the Lone Valkyrie. She is six for a thirty-five hundred. This card costs one less to play for each of your destroyed towers. And if you have one or less tower remaining, this card gets plus 1,000 Brawler and Guardian. And if you control no other units, this card can not be targeted by spells and abilities. So she is 6 mana for I'm Gonna Kill You. Yep. That, that's what she reads because she does get ridiculous if she's in play. Especially if she costs 1. Yeah. And yeah. Late game, she just she's like one of the most powerful uh, white cards out there. Mm -hmm. Just in general. She's super strong. And guess what? We have another Kara. Uh, the Glorious Valkyrie, it's a 6 drop, 15, 000, 15 yeah, 5,000, I was going to say 15, 5,000. She's an Omega unit, so Legendary Valkyrie, place one one of your light units that is equipped with a gear. So there's two stipulations to her, but th there's more. She has Guardian, target attack, unblockable. This card costs one less to play for each of your destroyed towers, so she can cost super cheap. 
And then neither player can play non-light spells and non-light units come to play exhausted. So therefore, your opponent's just screwed. Yeah, and if you're talking about a card that changes the game, this card does that really, yeah. really hard. <laughs> Especially when you get it out really quickly because it costs less. So you're just like, ah, cool, let's pay four mana and you can't play the game anymore because yeah, you you're can't not playing light. Kill her with spells. Yeah. Because you can't cast those spells unless they're wise ones. So good luck with yeah, that. Yeah, you, you have to throw a lot of dudes into her to kill her and it's still really, really rough. Yeah, extremely. Especially if you have all the gears that you can just place onto her later. Yeah. Our first spell of the deck is Order of the Rose. It is one, uh, and it's reveal the top five of your deck. You may add one revealed Rose Knight unit from them to your hand. If you do, you may also add a revealed geared from gear to your hand. Place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So you pay one, you go, you dig deep, and you try to get a gear and a Rose Knight. So it's kind of helpful. The other card just lets you replace that, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. The next one is uh, Shard Sword Nova. It's a one drop insta cast spell. As additional costs to play this card, discard one gear or sacrifice one gear you control. Destroy a target unit with three or less. Super powerful to get rid of tokens, and plus there's a gear that comes back every time you attack, so just destroy that thing mm -hmm. and you, you got it. Which is actually this gear, Ketsu the Living Armor. It is one, equipped to the unit. Uh, any damage it would take is reduced by 500, which actually does a lot more yeah. than you think it does. Oh yeah. Um, and when one or more light units attacks, you may add equip this card and discard to that unit and it can only be equipped by one Ketsu at a time. Yeah. But if you have that other card in your hand, you're like, cool, kill my gear, kill your dude, swing, attach my gear back. There, yeah, exactly. Awesome. And this is the one you always want to discard or destroy because you always just get yeah. back no matter what. All right, standard short slard, shard. It's a one drop augment gear, equipped to target unit, it gets plus 500 and target attack. So if you need to kill a pesky dude, there you go. Next is the Omega Magic Hikari. It is two for an instant cast spell. Put into play one night unit with Guardian 1000. If you have two or less towers remaining, you put in two. And that gets kind of annoying just because Liam's all about making your Guardians better and yeah. your stone makes Guardians better too. And the fact, late game this guy just is on one, like you can't beat it. Because late game you're like, all right, he has one dude, I have one tower <laughs> left. And then you just pop this down at the end of their turn. They're like, oh, I'm dead, yeah. thanks. Yeah, it's insta-cast, you're just like, end your turn, I'm gonna make two dudes, Yep, thanks. Next one is Shining uh, Shard Dagger. It's two drop augment. It gets plus 500 in quickness. This is the winner. This, yeah. this guy will win you games. Definitely one of the best gears. Oh yeah. Uh, next is the Golden Rose Blade. It is two for an augment gear, equip unit to a knight unit. The equipped unit gets plus 500 unblockable. And whenever your opponent plays a spell, you may add this card and discard to your hand. So again, this is another way to use your Liam trigger to do things and help you out and get your card back. Exactly. Now with that, we'll go to the shards. Of course, it's the basic ones. We have the basic Argent Shard, the Hollow Crystal, which is the white one with the white spirit. Uh, this also helps out your guardians. So you pay one, uh, exhaust this, target guardian gets plus 500. And like we said, plus 500 does a lot for you. Yeah, it changes it, the game. It makes math real difficult. Oh yeah, uh, but you know, math is for blockers. So let yeah. them have that. And then of course the Spirit Ruby, it's the thing that legendary shard you need in all decks. Because you can uh, exhaust, flip your spear face down, destroy a target unit, and that's it. Yeah, it just gives you the ability to kill a dude, and it's really, really strong. Yeah, and since your spear already helped you out uh, turn one, then that's all you really need. And mm -hmm. you have other ways to get your stuff back, so you don't need to worry about flipping him over to do that. With that, that is the deck. It's a fun and simple deck. Uh, gears are always been powerful, oh, for yeah. sure. And it, we, with the Rose Knights and the new one that's available, it's going to get there, for sure. All right, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island, and you have a good day. Bye. Later. Also, guys, I just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.